Hi guys, uh, on this video, we're looking at VEX 50 index on the 24 hour chart. And then what I'll do is that I'll plot out like my highest high from the daily time frame and the lowest low on the daily time frame of which is this one here. So initially at the top of the structure, we had like multiple rejections, as you can see around this point of which that resulted in the market pushing to the downside, creating a lower low and then we have a lower high around this point then we expect another drive to the downside to reach this point here and then this is an overall descending channel as you can see and then throwing it out like this you'll see that we have two touches at the top and then we have some type of a double top around this point in a form of a mass psychology activation and then I'll just remove this one and then just focus on the current structure that we have. And then I'll put like another ray line around this point of which we are targeting this area or initially this one at the bottom to create a new lower low. So I'll draw out like the ascending channel around this point, two touches at the bottom and two touches at the top of which is this one here this one here and then we have the touch here the touch here touch here touch here and then we have the double top area of which is this one and then we had multiple touches around this point here also then we have the lower low and then we have the lower high and then we expect the lower low which it will drive to the downside so that is how uh, i'm looking at volatility 15 index and then let me just remove a few so that we can move to the lower time frame and then try to find an entry so on the four hour that is where i'll make sure that i find like uh patterns within patterns and then check for momentum if it's moving like nicely and then here i'll just refine to the most touches make sure that everything has been touched and then we have an ascending within an ascending just like this and then on the way at the top of the structure we created a double top and then this is a reversal pattern instead of getting like the third touch just because we have the first touch here second touch instead of getting the third touch for us to sell from there we didn't get that we got the double top in a form of an override that's why i always say that you must cater for the override by putting like a ray line like this so that when we get to this point here then you can just try and analyze and see if we will get like a candlestick confirmation for us to look for those selling opportunities or it will just pierce to the upside create the third touch and then sell off from there so the four hour time frame is okay and then we have this area here of which we are going to analyze on the hour chart So on the four hour chart, that is where you can see like the price action very nicely. And then we have that double top area or the mass psychology area of which it has been activated as you can see. And then I'll just remove the ray line, just try to neaten up my analysis. And then we have thus ascending within and ascending of which this is also a signal for you to look for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure let's say we had like this evening star formation of which it's a little bit messy just because you expect a green candle and then after some type of a rejection candle followed by a big red candle for you to look for those uh, selling opportunities just after the close and then your stop loss should be just above this point of which in this scenario it didn't happen it happened but it's a bit messy or advanced for some of you guys and then let me just do this and then we had like the nice push to the downside or drive to the downside and then i can just remove this ray line here just because it's already useless and then we have the high point of which this can be a value area whereby we get that double top formation or mass psychology activation then we sell off from there and then another scenario that i am looking at on this one is that we can have some type of a a touch 
around that point just because I think we have two touches around this point. This is our first touch around chair, around chair, and then we have the second touch, and then we can have like a third touch for us to sell off. And then this is also a value area that you can use just because we can just push to the upside and then create a double top from there or then sell off. Or initially we can go back and then create the third touch that we were looking forward to seeing on the previous analysis around this point here. Just like this, then we create the third touch, then we sell off from the top of the structure of which that would be nice just because you are protected by the outer structures. The stop loss can be just above here and then you're taking the sell with a candlestick confirmation of which is the evening star or the, the one hour retracement candle or the engulfing, however you call it. And then the top of the structure, then you're targeting this area, knowing that your trade management should be just, uh, let's say you move your stop loss at around 1%. After reaching 1%, you move your stop loss to break even. And then if you get tagged out, it's still okay. You can just reanalyze and look for a new entry. But we are targeting the first touch here, the third touch of which it's 9.5%. And then the overall 90% for this ascending channel only is at around 18. And then if you want to swing the overall trade, you're looking at a 29% trade. So initially, now you can just focus on this area here. You can just focus your analysis like this. Let me try and move to the 15 minute and see if we can just look for something on the 15 minute. So on the 15 minute, what you can do is that you can refine this area here to this type of point and this point here. And then you can clearly see that we have two touches at the top, as I said, on the hour chart and then two touches at the bottom. And then we had like some corrective movement to the downside. So I'll just remove these areas here. And then we had the corrective move to the upside. We had that, uh, override around here of which it came down very correctively and then it created some type of a descending channel whereby you can look for buying opportunities if you are into counter trends and all of that stuff you can look for those uh, buying opportunities and then your analysis in this point should be this type of movement just like this you are forecasting the third touch for you to look for those selling opportunities or the first side flag just like this then you look for a sell. And then initially, this should be some type of an ascending channel at the top of the structure. And then you take a sell around this point, knowing that you are looking at this as your double top area or my psychology area. And then if the trade does not work out, then you look at the overall high of which is this one. Just make sure that you are protected by structure or you're using structure all the time when you're entering your trades. And then this is the area that you can look forward to getting those cells. Same scenario around here at the top of the structure and ascending channel. Initially get like a retracement candle, stick confirmation, then you sell off. And then if that does not happen, just know that we are looking at the overall outer structures of which it's at the top around here for a third touch. Let's say you get like a structural movement at the top. Same scenario, you look for selling opportunities right at the top looking for that uh override or for that can just the confirmation sell and then your stop loss can be just above and then you're still targeting the same targets that we had first target around here for about 24 second target the ascending channel 47 and then overall target at around 72 percent of which you can take like a lot of entries on its way to the downside you can bank more than uh 72 percent just because let's say you are targeting this point here for 25 and then you get like the overall 25 percent and then you wait for the break of structure and then come back here and then you look for a scale in around this point here then you look for another sell off maybe targeting this area and then whenever you get like another confirmation to push to the downside then you take the entry so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one